Hey everyone, uh, welcome to ETS2 Indian Modes. So a while ago, we have done a tutorial in our channel that explained how to run multiple versions of Euro Truck Simulator 2 in one PC. So uh, in the portion of the video, the initial portion of the video, we have explained how to run multiple version in Steam. Then we have explained how to run multiple versions if you're using separate installs. And we have also in explained how to maintain document folders or Euro Truck Simulator 2 document folders for each version. So if you haven't watched this video, uh, you can post this and uh, watch that video. I'll add the link in the description and then come back to this video. So in this video, what we will discuss is how to run multiple uh, versions of Euro Truck Simulator 2 in Steam without re-downloading each time. So if you remember what we discussed in the last video, if you go to Steam, uh, your Steam library and right click on your game and choose properties, go to beta tab. And if you see the drop down menu, you can see you have uh, all the versions listed here. So there is 1.27, then there is 1.30 all the way up to 1.45, which is the latest version. Now we've already discussed if you put none, this will always keep the game up to date. Like whichever is the latest patch from source that will be installed by uh, Steam. But I would basically recommend you, even if you want to run the latest version, use this temporary underscore 1.45 for incompatible modes. So whenever you feel like, so if you look here, it is written Euro Truck Simulator 2 temporary 1.31. This means I'm actually, in, I have 1.31 installed right now in my PC. So whichever version you want, you can just choose, let's say I want to play the latest one. You can click on 1.45 and you can see the Steam starts downloading the game. I don't want to change it right now because uh, I don't want to re-download now. So the idea is basically whichever version you want to run, you can choose the version here and Steam will re-download that version and once the download is completed, you, have, you can play the game. But the problem was every time you want to change the version, you will have to re-download the game again. And in this video, we will see how to bypass that, right? Now, before we discuss that, there are two folders or two files that are uh, really important for this game. One is in your documents folder, your documents slash Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder. So your PC documents Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is where all the save files and other additional settings of the games are stored. Okay. So your modes are placed here, your setting files, your uh, config files, everything is placed here right your profiles are here everything is here like the save files are here now the second folder is the installation directory so if you go to your default steam installation library by default it will be your computer your operating system drive or c drive program files x86 or 32 bit program files steam and then uh, this is the installation directory if you have steam installed in a separate directory you need to go there now inside this you will have a folder called steam apps Inside this, you will have a folder called common. This is where Steam downloads all the additional games and installs here. So you can see I have Euro Truck Simulator 2, Counter-Strike, FIFA, all these games installed, right? Now, this is the installation folder and this is the documents or saved files folder. Now, in the last video, we have already discussed for each version, this saved files will be different because the modes will be different the settings and configuration files need not be reverse compatible. What, is, what I mean is, if you have a settings file for 1.45, it might not be supported for earlier versions. So it's always recommended or you, sh you will have to maintain separate documents folder for each version. So what I do is, the first time I run the game for a particular version, I'll not keep a folder called Euro Truck Simulator 2 here, so that the game will automatically create this for that version. Once it is done, every next next time I run, I'll keep that folder. So if I'm so currently I'm running 1.31, so I have that folder with the default name, which is Euro Truck Simulator 2, because Steam will always be looking for your PC document slash Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder, right? Now I have all I have folders for all other versions here. Like I create and test mode, so I have I do run every versions. So I have documents for all the versions here. So let's say next time I want to run 1.36, I'll rename this into some other name, maybe like 1.31 underscore Euro Truck Simulator 2, and I'll rename the documents file for 1.36 
with the actual name which is euro truck simulator 2 so i'll change the name of this to this so that uh, steam or the game will be picking this folder from from their own words now let's see how the installation file needs to be maintained right so as i told you i am already i am i have 1.31 downloaded right now so what i'll do is i so this installation directory right this corresponds to 1.31 so what i'll do is i'll make a backup of this i'll copy and paste the same folder here and i'll just rename it as uh, 1.31 euro truck simulator 2 so i have a backup for the 1.31 installation file now i'll go to steam and i'll change the version to whichever other version i want to play so let's say i want to play 1.36 now right i'll change it to 1.36 and wait for the game to download okay now the download is done so we have the 1.36 version downloaded already so go back to your steam app common folder now we this is the installation folder previously this corresponded to 1.31 but now after the update this corresponds to 1.36 so make a copy of this folder again and rename it as uh, 1.36 something so the name can be anything i am naming it this way so that it doesn't confuse later right so i have a 1.31 and 1.36 installation file now similarly you can you can download any version you want and keep backups like this right so we will add one more version so let's say uh, we will take the latest version 1.45 so i'll click this and wait for steam to download it now you can see for 1.45 steam is downloading 14 gigabytes of data so if you have to re-download every time you will be consuming a lot of data and a lot of time so that's why this idea will be more helpful and to add on that one more thing this can work on any game not just euro truck simulator 2 any steam game that supports multiple versions right all those games can can be uh, played using this technique so the download is finished so you can see it says uh, temporary underscore 1.45 now now go back to the common folder again uh, so we have the backup of 1.31 and 36 now we know this folder corresponds to 1.45 because the game has been updated make a backup copy of it and rename as uh, 1.45 euro truck simulator 2 okay so this way whichever versions you want you can uh, change the versions here for once let it let the steam download it and once the download has been finished make a backup copy of it uh, with the proper naming okay steam is not going to pick this these are for our reference okay now uh, currently we have uh, 1.45 downloaded right so currently the game is set to 1.45 so uh, just for the easiness of understanding it i'll just copy these to these uh, folders uh, these are images that i've created to avoid confusion uh, these you won't see these files with the version names these are uh, files that i have created uh, using paint just in case if you want these i can uh, zip and upload them into my website uh, just let me know in the comments anyway so now we will see how to run this game okay so currently i have 1.45 installed right so in my documents folder i will point the euro truck simulator to folder with the 1.45 settings so uh, what i'll do is i'll this is my 1.45 corresponding uh, documents file I'll rename this as the actual name that is whenever steam looks for documents slash euro truck simulator 2 they'll find this folder now right similarly whenever steam looks for uh, steam app slash common slash euro truck simulator 2 they'll find this folder both of them points to 1.45 now if I run the game you can see i'm running 1.45.1.6 version here so it will load all the profiles i have in my 1.45 documents folder now i'll exit the game now what you need to understand is once you've downloaded all the versions you need don't change the version from here keep this in mind once you've downloaded all the versions and backed up their installation files 
don't change the version from here don't change the version from steam okay let it be at 1.45 or whatever version it says it doesn't matter what you need to do is let's say i want to run 1.36 right i'll uh, remove this folder i'll copy this 1.36 installation files and i'll rename it with the actual name that is euro truck simulator 2 so now when the steam looks for the installation files they'll be pointing to the 1.36 corresponding directory right Similarly, I'll do the same thing for documents. I'll rename it as 1.45 and I'll take the 1.36 corresponding documents file and I'll rename it as uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now when the Steam or the game looks for documents slash Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder, they'll pick this folder, right? So now we have the documents for 1.36 and the installation for 1.36. Just let me add one more thing. In the documents case, I'm just renaming them, but in the installation files case, I'm copying them. So I'll I'll not rename this to Euro Truck Simulator 2, but I'll make a copy of 1.36 and name it as Euro Truck Simulator 2 because just in case uh, if Steam does something right, does some update or something something into this folder, I still don't ruin the game right, ruin the installation file. That's why I always keep a backup in the installation file. So I don't just rename this, I make a copy and keep the 1.36 corresponding version as the Euro Truck Simulator to folder. So now both of these folders corresponds to 1.36. Again, don't change the version he here once you have downloaded all the versions you want. Just play the game. Okay. Now you can see at the corner I am running 1.36.2.55s and all the profiles I have for 1.36 has been loaded. Even the modes I have put in the 1.36 folder will be loaded. So we are running 1.36 game now. Now let's say we want to run 1.31. So again do the same thing. We will delete this folder. We will make a copy of 1.31 installation files. Rename it as the actual name Euro Truck Simulator 2. So now uh, when the game looks for the installation file, they'll pick this folder, right? Do the same thing for uh, documents folder also. This I'll rename back to 1.36 and I'll rename the 1.31 corresponding folder to the actual name, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now the game will pick this folder. So this is the installation file for 1.31. This is the documents for 1.31. Now again, do the same thing. Don't change the version here. Play the game. And you can see we are running 1.31 version here, 1.31.2.12s. So, and all these profiles are for my 1.31 uh, profiles, the ones that are loaded. So this way you can uh, play any version, any number of versions without re-downloading each time. Now, couple of things. This will be consuming more storage space in your hard drive because if you are, let's say I'm playing for three versions, I'm keeping th installation files for all three instead of having one. So this will require more storage space in your computer, even here also, like each documents folder will have to maintain. But this will avoid needing to re-download each version uh, every time you want to play it. So once you've downloaded the versions, you can back it up and play it anytime. Be very careful with one thing, whenever you are changing a version, do the same change into the installation directory and the documents directory. Don't change in one place because it might corrupt the other file. And one more thing I'll add, it doesn't matter which version says here. Let's say you are already at 1.45 and you are downloading the lower versions and then you have downloaded the 1.31, that is still fine. You can have it at 1.31 put these two in a particular version and run. It doesn't matter whether it's a higher version or lower version, it will run properly. So I hope this video has been helpful guys. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, comment below or you can contact me in WhatsApp or Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next time.